This is SPI NAND flash. Uh, it used the SPI form factor, so only eight pins is used, but the internal technology is NAND flash, which has a very big capacity on a small chip. This is one gigabit, and it, it's being used a lot of devices now. So Ulink NT naturally supports SPI flash, and now 1.22 supports the uh, uh, SPI NAND flash. So for demonstration, I do not have a, a real modem or router to work with. So what I did is I soldered this chip to this adapter. Uh, this is regular uh, SPI flash adapter. And I soldered this chip here and use the Ulink NT Direct 3.3 uh, volt here. The connection is identical to the normal SPI and more flash, but the software you need to select the SPI NAND to be able to uh, read and write this flash. Uh, hook up like so. You should monitor the LED blinking. On the software side here, I select the new target type, which is uh, uh, SPI NAND flash. If we select here, only is MX35LF1GE4B. And the configuration is um, SPI NAND here, the size is this one. So let's click the detect. By the way, most of the SPI NAND flash do not necessarily need to be uh, configured. It will auto detect by itself. However, in 1.22, I already have this defined in the new file type called SPI NAND flash. So let's program this here. Oh, let's just erase everything first to make sure it's erased. And let's check the first sector. It's erased. So now let's load this file and write to it. Just to emphasize the connection and the way to program is identical to the SPI NOR flash. Uh, we, we see this in the cable modems like 6121, 6141, and the new modems start using the NAND flash, either TSOP or SPI, and the using S, uh, Ulink NT is programmed the SPI NAND flash. If the other TSOP flash, you, you need Ulink NAND to program it. The software will be smart enough knowing if this is empty block, it will skip it. That's why you sometimes see the program speed is really fast. The average speed should be around like 500 or to 600 kilobytes per second. It's faster than the, uh, the no flash. No flash will typically will be 200 to 300 kilobytes per second. So if you have a SPI NAND flash on the device, a router or modem, you can hook up as you as if you were doing this SPI NOR flash, like 6121 or 6141. By the way, this only works in the 1.22 and up. 1.21 does not have the this uh, device support. I just ordered the chip from the AliExpress and arrived at about one week ago and I start program, uh, write the program. So the other chips might need to a little bit tweak, tweak in the software.
the trend for low-cost device is starting using the SPI flash or now SPI NAND flash because the it only have eight pins to connect to the board. The cost of the chip and this uh, printed circuit board is lower than using the NAND flash or NOR flash. So please, please keep in mind some NAND flash might have a bad sector. Uh, this chip I have tested, it has one block of a bad sector as well. So it's finished the programming and let's verify it. Okay, we have finished compare it. The programming is successful. So from now on, we are going to support SPI NAND flash with the USB JTAG NT and the U-Link NT.